Hey everybody, Asher here. Today we're taking a look at Quasimorph, a very happy game about a bright future that humanity can look forward to. If those of you have been wondering where I've been, I'm just going to give you the brief rundown. Work sucks to the tune where I am looking for new work. So that's kind of where I've been busy with. I will add that because of those circumstances, I'm not necessarily wanting to commit to a new series right now or resuming the other series that I have going on. So that'll be kind of a game time decision later. But as the world kind of rotates here, you can see maybe a few geological changes to what is going on. Now we do have some of the Hawaiian islands here, which is nice, but you'll see some other things go around as we kind of move around here very briefly. I don't know if we get the best view here, but yeah, this is the future. Um, Shit sucks, but humanity still kind of keeps going on. Now, Quasimorph is a game that is a permadeath rogue-like in a way, because you can kind of take stuff back with you and do other missions here. But one of the things that kind of appealed to me is just how hard this game was supposed to be. But the hot fixes have come rolling in, and some of those were responses to the game. People get review bombing the game, and uh, I'll put it like this right now. It's not the hardest thing I've played, but still, it is a game that can punish you for mistakes. So maybe that's enough, as we can see um, here, like in the movie Happy Accidents, where you can go to the ocean in Cincinnati up there. We have the uh, Amazon Basin now. Yeah, it is a uh, it is a new world where humanity just keeps on living. So what we're going to do, continue game. I'm not that deep into the game, but we are a little bit of ways into the game. I just kind of want to give you the gameplay flow here, so you can see where... At the, I almost said the beach. That's that's the moon, and we do have some corporations that we can kind of work with to get missions. Some of them have special rewards. We can do kind of some trading depending on what they what we can actually get from them by going to some peaceful things. We're actually going to start, I guess, with a. Um, I guess technically it's going to be a uh, processing plant conquest mission that will give us. 487 rewards here, which is not where we see the rewards. The rewards are kind of over here. Um, we have 24.8 days to do it if we look at the system map here. Um, not everything is implemented yet. I'm not sure if that's just a um, um, early access thing because that's where the game is or if it's a um, progress in the game thing because I'm not super far. But kind of how things work is that we do have some production here. We're going to go ahead and make some more Moo Moo because we all we all love our uh, synthetic beef. I don't know if I brought too much stuff to make some other things here, but I do kind of need I do kind of need some of this shit. Let's make let's make um how many how many bandages do I have is I guess the first question here. 3 and 2. So I probably need a little bit more of each. We have some other basic stuff here. I kind of need to remember a little bit because I did um, restart kind of just after making some early mistakes and dying unceremoniously near the end of a mission. Hey, there's an angry squirrel waving its tail at me outside. That's cool. Um, I got to kind of reassess what I have and what I don't have. So bandages and splints, you're going to see that we use quite a few of these here. Um, but yeah, let's just dive into a mission. <clears throat> you know how I like to do these things. This is a game that definitely does have some potential for a series, but I'm glad I wasn't able to do it right away because there's been a lot of hot fixes that have substantially changed how the game works. So you have some operators to choose from. The idea is that these are clones that actually get sent in. We do have Percy Fawcett, who is already here, that has a higher starvation limit, a lower dodge chance, as you can see, better melee accuracy. Melee accuracy? Um, higher max health. Everybody kind of has trade-offs here. So better resist, better pain threshold, higher range versus uh, Isabella Capé, uh, who ignores infections but doesn't have as much range. Um, we have uh, Victoria Boudica that has an even better weapon range, which is exciting. Or is that field of vision? Either way, it's, um, it's a lot. And then Francis Reed Daly, who... Um, has your weapon durability, which is which can actually end pain threshold. Those are actually two very nice things for us starting out here. But we're going to be this operator. Scouts of Hades, I can switch to this. There are skills that you get. Some of them are just automatically passive, like all resistance. Some of them you level up under certain conditions. Um, activation, and then there's other things that you can actually activate as well. Um, every 10 units of weight gives one experience while moving, and we get more health. We're actually about to level that up. Um, each trigger uh, attacking a player activates this trigger for combat focus. Um, 
scatter each shot from a pistol shotgun or smg gives to experience or each shot from a firearm gives better accuracy then there's the blades here i'll just run through these as as usual you can pause if you want to see what these are but need to go to the equipment here right now we have the jeff hammer and auto shotgun here i kind of want to actually take that that was a weapon that i found early on one of the issues though is that it does use shotgun shells as ammo so i may just have that as a backup you can see one of the cool things that i have you're not supposed to have like three things right away but i do have a servo backpack that gives me an extra weapon slot which I, I think that is that is a addition that fills me with joy. I think starting with the the range of mission that we have here. Let's uh, since we're since we're crafting more. Let's take four bandages and four splints. Well, if I need to craft more splints, technically we have a bunch of well, we had we got thread. I need rags. I'm gonna put my crafting materials over here. There we go. So you can use you can use rags to. Do all kinds of things like bandage your wounds and stuff, and we're going to go into all that in just a minute here. So I'm going to be bringing the submachine gun at first. I have another pistol. A um, little bit of extra ammo is probably prudent, although there's plenty of that to be found. I'm going to bring some food with me. Um, I'm not going to bring a surgical kit with me, although maybe I should, um, if only because we're still kind of in the early missions. I do have a club to fight with, so that's fine. Uh, is this loadout best worse? I'm not much of a mid maxer here if you are familiar with the um, with this channel at all. But let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to start mission. I know there is some other stuff I can do, like going to peaceful places and trying to train, but trade, not train. Even the analysts of the French Comte PS are expecting an attack from uh, Tsetsklan. The appearance, and I um, apologize for all the pronunciation here, the appearance of a trained PMC operative here will be a surprise to them. We'll drop you off at a, some, at a convenient location where you can start your sweep, act according to the situation, but show them that great goals are achieved with special cruelty. So, in other words, we are a soldier of fortune trying to make our way through a ruined world where all these factions are fighting each other, and we're just a merc that's going to work for the highest bidder here. So we do have a mini-map with the signal loss. That's great. We have our operation management. is to kill everyone who resists the in key helium-3. Uh, 50 percent of combatants will be enough we have five targets to kill data for part two is refined you can press alt to see what's lootable here including this barrel full of flammable stuff or we can take some weapon parts so bodybuilding increased to four we knew that was coming um, this is very much a turn tile based roguelike which means you're going to have um, all kinds of the usual sort of make sure you click one thing at a time just so you don't miss stuff here there this is one thing i do want to get is um bigger as i as i just actually don't follow my own rules here um one thing i really want to do is to get a bigger backpack but we don't really have that right now because i want to be able to take home some good um crafting materials like you can disassemble things we have plenty of thread so i'm not going to be focusing on thread this time we can also dump all the gasoline out of here, and it just goes in convenient containers. My first death in this game was from using a flamethrower and then misclicking and walking into my own flames. So it's that kind of game. And when you die, your clone, your clone can obviously go out again. But unfortunately, oh, you're possessed. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at you while we're here, if I can. So you're sleeping, speed medium, no damage to speak of. You have... Uh, tactical axe and not much for me to loot a former station employee turn by quasimorphosis into a possessed madman thirsty for murder as you can see we have our constant ticking up of q morphosis phase here um that's definitely fun what's the skull project access denied well there we go i need to i need to get some more of that anyway let's uh, start the fireworks here with some uh, gunfire we're gonna take a step in here do a quick survey oh there we go Glad you, glad you enjoyed that sound here. So these possessed people on the moon, um, they're everywhere, and fortunately we killed you by shooting you in the thigh. Thank goodness. Um, you know, that's a better... 23, yeah. I like that big scary axe. Um, we can disassemble this for um, pretty good materials. I don't know if I want to take all those yet, but... You have weapon parts, so we can potentially stack those, yes. 
Those can stack up to 50. All right. We can also take skin or feet. Um, note here, by the way, that if we look here, we can amputate this and get a piece of flesh, which will give us fullness if we need to really eat it. It'll give us a chance of infection. Notice there's one person that is immune to infection and we get Quasimorphosis plus 100. The balancing that is very important for kind of the gameplay stuff here. We'll take some more antibiotic. I didn't actually grab any morphine. Hopefully I don't need it. Because one of the things about Possessed and one of the reasons that people tend to be a little wary of doing missions in the moon earlier is not just because it's the moon, um, but because you have a lot of things like Possessed people and they will just constantly charge at you and it's easy for them to uh, overwhelm you. So if we disassemble this, we got plenty of thread. Don't want to stand next to the burn barrel too much here. That's a green jacket that may not be very exciting. I'm just trying to clear the rooms and make sure that I don't have people kind of going around here. So the Taiga M.A. or Tagia, Taiga M. versus the Jeff Hammer. Four shots, five to 15, four shots, two to 12. A little better accuracy, now about the same accuracy. Faster reload, throwback chance. Four range, four range. So technically what I have is better. And one of the balance things here, especially as you try to get through the game a little bit here, is to figure out what exactly do we want to take and what exactly do we want to get rid of. So we have, I disassembled something. I don't know where it went. So I'm assuming it's weapon parts. It's probably fine. You can see I'm already getting a little sloppy with my clicks. That's going to be very exciting if I round a corner and get immediately destroyed here. Oh, buckshot. There we go. Now we can, now we can play with the shoddy. Just acid. Um, we are going to actually switch guns here. So let's let's equip equip. I can't talk. Like the submachine gun's fine. We have two firing modes. We can do auto fire or single fire. Ammo per shot three, ammo per shot one. Let's do this. And let's see if we can hit both these fuckers at the same time. Not bad. Somehow you're still asleep, and now you're actually up on my face. And you moved all the way over there. Some of that is the knockback. Let's take a look because this is turn-based and they're probably going to act pretty soon if I don't kite them. So if I switch over to our giant axe. There we go. You're dead. What kind of damage did we do? We got your foot pretty hard. Um, I do like the choppa better than the uh, Varanigan. Assuming that's how it's pronounced. Interesting that a lot of these things have better fire resistance. What do you have for me? You have meat. Well, you guys are made of meat. That's technically correct. And that is trash. Trash is actually useful for crafting. And nails, because you can't buy a nail gun here. How many more people? One more, one more target to kill here. Our, sig our minimap signal's lost. That's actually a little troubling. Well, I'm just gonna have to go by my good old memory here and let's, um, oh, I forget to actually reload. I do have three turns to reload. So that's something you gotta be sensitive to when you're trying to actually fight the universe here. Okay. And there is floor snacks, which we can eat right off the floor. Hooray. All right. So this looks suspicious. Not that. That's a metal pipe and that's a t-shirt. Those don't look suspicious, but this, that's just an elevator. So I can't go yet, but it is very merciful that we do have actually a surgical kit here. I will probably take that on the way out, so I'll let myself get a little hungry. Oh, I can eat this now. Maybe take the medical kit instead. This stuff's not bad either. There's a difference between healing your wounds versus just outright. Um, oh, I'm actually keeping some rags in my tool belt. 
Maybe I can take advantage of that a little bit more. Some of the items here. Thread, thread. Sometimes you do need rags. So there is one of our other friends here. Let's switch to the pistol. Good shot from the Hydra Tactical. Look at how hard that hits, by the way. Versus 15 4x4. So the thing from our servo arm, almost better. Okay, 9 out of 16. And look, we got we got attacked, but we didn't actually... We got a little hurt. Let's look at our health monitor here. So fullness minus 5, a little bit of stuff. Not specifically injured. All right, but you see some of this... Some of this we're doing because we want to level it up. So let's go ahead and stabilize. We don't have any wounds to stabilize. So we will... Let's put you down here, I guess. I'm not going to eat the piece of raw flesh today. Pizza raw flesh. I was wondering where those rags went for other stuff, but we do have a skull crafting component. We have lots of thread. I have plenty of thread from last time. All right. So I think it's probably better. Some of this is a little bit of a treasure hunt. Some of this is a little bit of a do we fulfill the mission. One of the interesting things here is that if we found some more batteries, we could actually boost the scanner here, but it doesn't look like... We have too much. Um, we did just have this talk about the shotguns, but we will unload the ammo and uh, disassemble you into a metal pipe. All right, cool. Let's go over here. Don't know how much more exploring I want to do because we never know for sure what the floor stuff's going to be like, but this looks like a good shotgun situation. There we go. Two more down with maximum prejudice. But yeah, you gotta watch sometimes your um, your mission objectives because I'm only supposed to kill a few people per floor. It doesn't like it's not like we have to do all of this. Okay, I'm just mainly looking to see if people have snacks. Doesn't look like they do. All right, that's more trash. That's a jammer that we can cut. Don't know if we can get anything out of it, but it's gone now. There's an employee ID. That's a crafting material. Or it's an access card, crafting component. Maybe it's good for something, maybe it's not, but we're not going to take it with us. The wire. Not just wire, but the wire. Okay, not too much there. All right, so if we look here at our help now, um, floor is cleared. Now, we know that there's some rooms we haven't gone into yet, but I am going to go ahead and take the elevator, because that's it's just a nice, relaxing stroll through the moon. All right. Yeah, I've heard some people describe this game as, like, I guess based off the demo, it felt more like a zombie apocalypse survival thing. But yeah, that's that's not my experience at all. Oh, switching weapons. Hitting the wrong, hitting the wrong button here. All right, so let's eat a snack. Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we um, don't really want to drop anything either. So the problem with this is that we're not finding a lot of food right now. So let's put you here. I think this is more important. Even though we have two, when shit gets bad, um, you don't want it to get real bad. So let's go downstairs, floor two, and we can check our happy little mission log there. And this is this is the thing again. Y'all know it's not going to be a perfect gameplay every time, but I at least want to see what we have available here. Is right now we have slightly better shoes than what we have. They have a little bit more pierce resistance. And we can eat some Chick Chick, which is another thing here. So just after, and look, it leaves a plastic wrapper behind because they, they thought of everything. Um, cabbage with pasta never goes bad. Makes your breath smell super fresh. Always got to check your backside and be like, okay, who's who's here? So we have our shotgun ready. And um, 
I just took two steps into the wrong place. What's in the container? It's another armor plate. And what's here? We got a gallon self-loading pistol. Not the worst thing. I kind of like the tactical pistol a little better here. So let's just unload ammo. ammo. I can't talk. Actually, can't hold any more ammo. So that's even more better. All right. Desert pants could be good. I always love the hearing the door sounds and not knowing what the what the door is. Quad damage, Titan quadruple. Notice here that this gets rid of pain, quasimorphosis, increases our intoxication, and increases our fullness. Seems good to me. All right. Now we are at grasp for this. We are. Going into a phase where muscle mass is increased, damage resistance isn't there, regeneration's there. And it's important because there's sometimes where you want to get your quasi-morphosis quasi up nice and high. And I'm very concerned about um, having these burn barrels here. So we are actually, just in case I get jumped, I don't want anybody shooting me. And ha see, there we go. I did not want to get um slammed by somebody shooting and blowing up this barrel around me so we have security here tell me more about security you're wearing actual armor you have an actual shotgun we gotta actually be concerned that'll do it all right one shot you drop some acid nice and now you're dead now we have some more people okay don't want to hit that box so we're gonna just wait here for a second good old standby for uh, roguelikes is that you can always press space to wait. So that's an SS specialist. Tell me more. You've already been hurt. You have you have a pretty scary weapon. So let's just shotgun you too and you fell down and broke your crown. Alright. Yeah, nice, nice little detail here. If you're wondering if there's kind of a Doom aesthetic here, you're absolutely right, there is. Um, Jupiter Hell is another game I've played on this channel in the past, and a game that's very much worth your time. Um, I don't think I actually need to um, heal anything, so that's good. We didn't get infected. That is another nice shotgun here. The Border Mark II, it'd be nice if I could do like some actual comparison here. I think I like the Jeff Hammer better. This one is way more accurate. This one has about the same range. Has less scatter. Added knockback damage. Less ammo. Yeah, I like this too. I like it better than the submachine gun, to be honest. So we're actually going to swap this out. We did start with this, so... There's always, there's always more available. Alright, so... Gotta, gotta look at where I'm at here. Got a pipe. Got a empty glass bottle. All right. And of course, the the road to hell is paved with um, even more people here. So Jeff Hammer time. And once again, we can look at the SS specialist. So this is another melee person. With just regular security. And we can shoot around the corner here. So you're a little stunned. Kind of want to do it like this. So tap him. Go up here. You died from bleeding. Did I just throw an axe at you? I think I did. Holy shit, I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. Nice. So you equip the melee weapon and use it at range and you just literally throw it at somebody and I'm gonna eat your noodles because that's what we do here that's awesome we actually cut off his arm if there's a combat log here I'm not sure where it is that is a damaged auto dock we got some more armor plates we got some explosives tell me what you have you have even more explosives I kind of feel like maybe I should grab those explosives all right I don't know if we need the medical glue, but I kind of want to have it. Maybe we don't need as many 9mm bullets, but I'd hate to run out of those later. 
One of the thing one of the things I desperately need is um Oh there we go. More bullets. One of the things I desperately need is a bigger backpack. And that means finding finding a bigger backpack somewhere. Or finding the means to craft one. And I'm sure there's an answer for where that is, and this is where we could kill our targets and probably complete the mission, but I kinda wanna search a little bit more. This is a this is where the, the roguelike portion of the game is how much do you want to complete the objective versus how much do you want to engage in the treasure hunt? So we got somebody down here. Let's um, let's step back real quick. Let's step here and well, that didn't work out. I'm trying to shoot the barrel, and I'm not the best barrel shooter. Okay, so everything's on fire. And we got our notification that somebody died. Mission complete. But we also got a um, notification from the sound here that we had some fun dead appear. I think they actually just... Yep, it's running around back there. So Somebody's running around like a lunatic. It's a, ser it's a service minorum. It means it's not as big of a deal here. So it's times 10 and we have another obsessed here. Who's always going to try to melee us. So let's try to tactical pistol them again. Good, one, two. Buckle my shoe. So literally we have demons spawning from hell at the same time as all this other stuff. These guys don't drop loot. Maybe some of the other stuff does later. What's this impactor? These are just better boots than what I have. Cool. Okay. And those were sitting there the whole time for the taking. All right, we could get piece of flesh, which just makes it sound like pizza tower. Or you get pizza flesh. Alright, all these things we can't take with us because I need a bigger book bag. Like, ten. Oh boy. It's probably shotgun time. Shotgun o'clock. Yep, that's right. In this scenario, we do run towards the people that are mindlessly charging us. That's, uh, that's just what we do. Alright, can't switch weapons while reloading, that makes sense. Okay, more noodles. Double noodles! Champignons noodles and chicken noodles and weapon parts. So, delicious, nutritious. I mean, I'm just a clone anyway. I need I need to keep up my kilocalories to um, actually take things on here. But we have another Jeff Hammer. That'd be good. We have water that will actually... Uh, I just dropped it? No, I didn't. Okay. So Jeff Hammer seems good. Uh, I kind of like these better. I mean, they're both not bad. I kind of want to take these with me, but what I really kind of want to do is take the Jeff Hammer with me and drop something here that I don't need. So we might do that. I've I, In these kind of games, I've always been a fan of the shotgun style of play. So, the medical glue seems good. The PMC ration is just so big. So, we have plenty of rags already. Let's do that. This is a hot bar, by the way. You can press one to use it at any time. So, we're just going to eat you. And what are you? You're a cutter. Circular saw. Now, that is a fun weapon that... um. I'm not going to use, apparently it's been the subject of numerous nerfs throughout the early patches. Because it's like one of those, and it's not so much from player power as like, hey, you have an enemy with a cutter and they just cut your head off. Which for me personally, I can see where that can be a bit of a bummer. But maybe when you can click here and be judicious and be like, hey, this is a melee person. Try not to engage them in melee, but you can see, look, we're going to see the transformation here. So while they're glowing, it's a Magnus Severus. Um, so that's a little bit bigger than what I've run into before. But yeah, when they're glowing, you can't hurt them. And um, this guy's going to be a little tougher. But maybe not that tough. Yeah, I have some concerns about you. Oh. Oh, we got the tutorial for injuries. Yeah, because that's how good I was doing here. 
So we gotta watch out for infection that's gonna happen each turn. So that's where the guy managed to hit me with the axe. I, see, this is the problem. You get cocky and stuff like this happens. So shotgun to the face, and now we have um, more perks here, and now we do have to actually heal up a little bit. This is good that I get to show you this. So we want to make sure we use an antibiotic to get rid of the infection. That's why I always have a lot. Um, we can use a bandage to stabilize our stomach wound. And unfortunately, we're probably going to have to use a few bandages. That's where maybe I'd want to have the rags instead. But yeah, you don't necessarily heal yourself from eating um, stuff. What's in the container? It's a nail gun. We love nail guns. I'm not going to keep it with me now, but it's nice to know that it's there. Alright, so we're still hopping and locking and rolling and all that good stuff here. We got some more 9mm bullets. That's fine. And then some more weapon parts. Since it seems like we're trying to farm up some weapon parts, that's fine. So, anything else here? If we look on the map, I think that covers the floor. Cool. So, we can... Go back to the elevator. You have to actually request evac. I've burned myself on that before. But yeah, we've actually cleared the floor now. If there was something else I wanted to take, I don't remember, but it's fine. Alright. Yeah. So we get a little bit of our uh, treasure here, and let's just go. Mission accomplished. So we successfully evacuated the mothership and we're going to have uh, Teslacon, that's not how it's pronounced, is satisfied with our work. Key Helium, or G Helium 3 is now resembles Pandemonium. A gift from the owner appeared in the cargo hold of the Mangum. We should test this artifact in action. Oh wow, we got a bunch of shit. Okay. We got uh, Toxcoddle, so Crescent Blade here. Tamatli, uh, which is uh, not the worst armor. Uh, Takatl, face mask. So see, this is what happens when we complete missions. Good things happen. So there's not a sort button as far as I know. So we're just going to put all of our shit over here. And I may try to take somebody else, somebody different on another mission here. Just to, just to see what we get. And I did have... Uh, a special place for my armors. I need to organize better, clearly. Beer. Candy bar. Actually, those don't stack. PMC rations. Who knew, right? Okay, so we're going to have a butter knife over there. We have weapon parts over here. Cool. Finish the mission, and we don't have too much more that we can do. These are peaceful. These are peaceful. These are peaceful. Um, if we look at the system up here... Um, we got our demo for this. So we don't have any active moon missions, but we do have other places we can go. We have an active uh, tutorial that we're not doing. The game really wants me to do that tutorial. Um, we have hostile places here. And you can see some of these some of these are red because there's some factions that like us. They kind of like us. We just did a mission for them. SMB kind of likes us. You gotta you gotta pay attention to which faction you're trying to boost here a little bit here. Let's see here. Who gives us better? I tried to subscribe some people. Like I want to get a bigger backpack here. So Amcom. Huh. So we don't have too much of a place here right now. All right, cool. But we do have some missions here. It still doesn't say where exactly what planet these are on, which is a little unfortunate, but let's go ahead. We already have, we should have our crafting going. Yeah, so we want to go ahead. We can't undo that right now. So let's go ahead, pass a little bit of time, maybe not that much time. And we get some more mission bases here. Better, better space flight than Kerbal Space Program too. All right, 
Going around the moon. All right. Let's slow that time. All right. So, real quick, what can we what can we craft now? We can craft these things. I want to know if we can craft bullets, but we actually need powder for that. So that's a little bit of a problem. Okay, I guess at this point, since we're going to work with the bullets that we have, how much morphine do I have? I feel like I need more morphine. Hashtag no context. Let's craft some morphine. So easy. All right. So we, we still don't have places that we can go to here. And I guess I have some options here, not so much from Phobos and Demios, but we do have, um, we can go after Realware, we can go after, we can go to Amcom. See what we get there. And then we have a bunch of kind of places that are no go. And then we have Mercury. Um, this is restricted. Are these restricted? These are not so much. We can do another conquest mission, or we can do a defense mission for uh, the civil resistance. All right. So we don't have too much to trade here, unfortunately. Because those are those are the things they're looking for here. So if we look at um, Grasshopper TE, see these things aren't as exciting. Maybe a class chip to unlock another class would be exciting, but let's just do another mission. Like the the whole the whole trading thing is all nice and well and good, but we just didn't pick up the items that they want. All right, so system map. Do we do Mercury? Okay, we do we do like Planet Bridge. We do like SMB. Maybe our uh, fortunes lie in Venus. I know it's another conquest mission, but sometimes you just got to live with the missions that you have. Actually, another question is how long is that mission going to be there? 17 days? Okay, let's fly to Venus. Um, start travel. So we're flying. Okay. Are we going to do a nice... All right, welcome to Venus. Cool. So we got some new items. That's exciting. Those only stack to five. These only stack to ten. So we're going to make some uh, chimkin. Um, we can make another backpack or clothes or stuff. Not too many... Um, See, one of the issues is that we need more, like, things to actually craft. Like, we need we need recipes to craft stuff, and some of that is going to come from um, building things here. I may as well just build a pistol just to, um... Do I want the Starlock or the Eagle? Do you want more damage or burst damage? I think I'd rather have the Eagle, to be honest. Okay. So we have all these cool things that we can take with us. Let's do let's do this mission here. All right, and let's do a different operator this time. All right. Let's try Isabella here. Now, 
Isabella has no class. So we only have two to choose from. We're going to do Eclipse Blades here. So we're going to try to go more melee focused. And so to that end, we do have a stationary turret, which would be nice. We do need to give you a backpack. We do need to give you some food, some of this. Let's give you some of this. Some of this. Don't know how that divided, but there we go. Some of this. And then what kind of weapons do we want? I think we want the uh, shotgun again here. Let's take the border mark too. And uh, we don't have a ton of shells. It's a little bit of a problem. Maybe we take the submachine gun instead. I like the shotgun, but... I guess my uh, other person has more of the more of the things here. Um, let's go ahead and take some spare food, just so we can get one of our inventory things empty early. And let's give a Toxcoddle Crescent Blade, and we're going to try to really get in people's faces here. All right, so Impactor equip, Impactor equip. Maybe we do this instead. It seems, it seems more on brand with what we're trying to do. Obviously, we still need some uh, pants. Apparently, we're just wearing jeans. Okay. And because we might things might get a little bit ugly. Well, we've, we've got enough medical stuff. This is fine. We don't need as much rags. We need to grab some other shit. We have no fire resistance, no poison resistance. This is an empty vest slot, not the same as a backpack slot. So... Seems fine. Look at how cool we look. You're a rookie. Let's get in there. Details. Uh, Tetsklon uh, regains his kingdom. He says that if Ganex has turned his back on him, then he should build a new Ganex. Therefore, he gradually relocates the Emerald Court to the physical reality. Now he is looking for anyone who can help take over Cloud the Node in order to turn this place into another bastion for the future, old, future Emerald Empire. We are... Holds on this metallic piece of matter as if there's the greatest of treasures. Let's crush them. Maybe the master will turn his attention to us. Um, Clotha Node is a transit based under the ge uh, geodesic dome that as a former owner Fresco used to access hard to reach places in the jungles. For unknown reason, it is now complete ruins. Eliminate 50% of the defenders. Okay, even if the analysts are real, we're expecting an attack from Texel and the superb us here. It's kind of the same crap, different bucket. Nothing wrong with that. It's just the nature nature of the game. But if we fail here, that's not a big deal. We do have immediate pistol. Not the worst. All right, we have water as well. Make sure we look around. Pathfinder. First thing I want to do is make sure we have um, mag vest. Cool. Very, very fortunate find at the beginning here. So that means that we can pack some extra things here. Need to kill 10 targets. So see, the um, one of the bonus things for this game is that sometimes as you fly around the world, the game gets, the enemies get stronger. That's one of the core mechanics. And one of the reasons is very important that one of the hot fixes actually changed up um, how things go. We're going to take that water with us. I could be using my hotkeys, but you know me, I'm a, I'm a clicker through and through. All right, so there's a trainee. You have a giant axe. Let's see how this goes. You're asleep. Not for long. Not for long. And now I have uh, all damage increase. You're a worker. Tell me, worker, what do you got? You got a knife. Oh, damn. What was I just saying? This worker has... This worker just, like, cut himself. What the hell? You have no shoulder, you have no arm, you have no damage. I have no idea what just happened. Kill you. And hit you. We, we, threw, we threw our weapon again. So we have a circular cutter saw. I am going to take that this time. That seems much more on brand with who we're using today. So we'll keep the submachine gun here just in case. 
We can't eat the wrist. We can't eat the leg. We are going to go ahead and uh, eat our water, apparently. And uh, you can see our food bar is already going down a little bit. So, And there's, whole, there's a whole scheme of running versus walking that um, gets to be pretty important later or sooner. We're not going to grab threat for now. Okay. Did we get everything we wanted from you? We got. We didn't get a bandage. We actually didn't look at you at all. Okay. And powder. We actually do need powder. Can't actually. You'd think I'd be able to turn explosives into powder, but maybe not. Okay. I swear I saw something creep up up there. This is fine. So yeah, we have seven saw blades. We have a AR robot here. Here's the fun thing about robots. You have fire resist, poison resist, low cut resist, better blunt resist. Well, that's exciting. We didn't actually hit you. Hit you that time. 16 out of 30. Oh, we just cut the robot and it made sad robot noises. Love it. Can amputate, amputate all the things. There's another robot here. It's actually a worker. Aren't you on fire? What about you? Aren't you on fire? That's probably not how that works, but... Gotta be mindful. Gotta be mindful of my saw ammo. It's only it's only as fun of a weapon as being able to use it, but let's not catch ourselves on fire here. So that's um everybody's just gonna get cooked. Let's take let's take some trash with us. Maybe somebody wants that trash. Okay, so look, we made we made this. All right, more powder, that's good. That's good. Um, what are you? You're, whatever you are, you're dead. Armor's repair box, that actually looks very valuable. So this is exactly why I had this here. Okay, splint, good. Not as, none of this is as good, so. There's no disassemble all button as far as I know. And we got two treasure boxes. Oh my lord. Okay, the saw's the saw's kind of fun, but I I'm running out of ammo here. It does big damage. It does big amputation due to injury. We got a nail gun. You can't just say no to a nail gun, can you? Especially when this dude has nails right here. I know I said we were taking trash. Maybe that trash has some nails in it. All right, what are you? Club. Human skin. Is there any other kind? The answer to that riddle is yes. All right. So this is a hospital room. With some sneakers. And a medical bin. With uh, a blood bag and an organ container. And not the wire, just wire. Alright. Gotta always try to watch my entrances and exits here. How many more? We need four more targets. Murder, death, killed. Alright. The sun will shine always! Well, you said that in your sleep, buddy. Yeah, go go sleep. Okay, this is a stupid thing to do because those guys would both be able to hit me, but they're all they're all just sleeping. They're all just taking a nap. That's all they're doing here. We don't even need this. We don't need that. Um, armor's repair box times two. More nails. Certainly welcome. Um I have maximum nails that I can hold. Alright, 
what are we what are we dropping here? More nails, more weapon parts. Alright. More knives. Kinda looking for some better pants. And I feel like I've found some and I've and I just mindlessly disassemble them. Alright, but anyway, we're close we're close to being done with this floor. Okay, and another thing I could be doing is right-clicking to look around. As far as I know, that doesn't take an action. Okay, I think we're probably through here. Okay, map. Signal lost, of course, so we have to scroll with our manuals all the way over here. Haven't found the elevator yet. Oh, this is going to be one of those gungeon things where there's like a door over here that I didn't see in the fog of war. And um, I just have to do the wrong thing. I do appreciate the game's auto stopping you every time you walk through a door. That's a nice heat check. For sure. Okay. What are you? You're a microchip. That's probably a good thing to have, but we're not going to have today. Alright, so what door did I miss? Yep, that's how it that's how it is. One target left. So it looks like the door was down here. The door was the friends we killed along the way. But yeah, you know, it's it's weird. Is that I was expecting like a hard as shit game going through here, but it's honestly almost relaxing the way that you can just kind of go through the game here. That's not a bad pistol. I would kind of rather have it than the submachine gun, but we're going to keep the submachine gun just in case. Just in case the nail gun doesn't cut it, but um, tsh. so there's an auto dock right next to the elevator. That seems convenient. Every floor we will patch in a uh, thing to make sure that you uh, can heal up. So here's a trainee. Hello, trainee. Have a nail. Whew. You have one HP left. So you're going to die on your own, right? Oh, like that. That's what we're doing. So, you're bigger, you're scarier. You have an awesome looking war mace that I want. Nail gun, please. Alright. Toxicotl is a good weapon. This is better, right? It has accurate throw, this one has severe fractures. I kind of like both, I kind of don't want to get rid of both, but... We can, tr we can trade for those later. That's like tier one, tier zero weapon. Those are not better pants. Hello, it's Nails. Did you just shotgun me? No, friend. We're not doing that. Here, I'm gonna eat your candy bar. Probably didn't need to keep the shotgun shells when I'm not even using them. Okay, another thing that's actually kind of important here is that those bull those those nails use a um, a lot of resources. So maybe I don't keep the nail gun for that long. But I am free to go to the next floor. All right, but yeah, it's almost like playing Dredge to a point, which is something that uh, obviously is a slightly older game. That I haven't done on the channel, but it's like, you know, it's just kind of relaxing. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, you know what? We're we are gonna make this work. Um and we don't need the shells right now. The nail gun dream is only temporary. Because our goal is to beat people in the face anyway. Let's go down here. Okay, what's up, Doc? 
Both these things look really good, but I'm not taking them. All right. Don't need to heal. Floor two. Weird, weird bit of loading. Look, we actually start in danger. That is unusual. And you have a shot, sawed off shotgun. Okay, let's see if uh, we can get the drop on you. Your body constantly requires calories. Oh, well. Awkward. I forgot that I need to eat. Because I'm so used to my um, other person that I was using that has a much higher caloric intake. Okay, first off, health monitor. We got hit. There's clearly some blood there. The worker didn't do shit, so... Shabam! Shabam. 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 Now, what took so long? Is that you have some serious blunt resistance. This is a blunt weapon. Huh. Well, first off, I gotta say, I like this armor. I like these pants. Better in the jeans. The baklava may be as good. We should probably take this armor with us. That's just that's just so good. This is good too. I have one of these at home, so we're gonna leave that on the floor. We got a bogey over here. Hey friend, what do you what do you got for me? You're bigger, you're badder. Tell me about your resistances here. Not as much as your friend because you're wearing a tank top, so. Welcome to the club. Thank you for your uh, food donation. And more importantly, your powder donation. And this is a robot. How do robots feel about nails? Apparently they don't care very much about getting hit by nails. Well, they care a little bit. Oh, you had to give me all the saws and you have to give me the wire. I feel like I should take the wire. Ah, oh well. And there's a liberator. And that looks like an explosive device on the side of the thing here, so. Liberator large caliber pistol with large bullets. That is objectively better than the submachine gun. We just don't have a lot of, a lot of large bullets yet, but we can. We can overcome. Is there something else I can drop here? I feel like... Ugh. Yeah, we'll come. We may come back for this. I just hate not coming back for it. I think I have another one just in case we need to equip our people. But this is definitely one of those uh, you loot to get better loot. Don't get so hung up. Oh boy. I think this is a nail gun situation, no question. Especially since you have nails available. Okay. Nail time. Whoa, buddy. All right. So we're bleeding. We're fractured. Our health situation is actually pretty terrible. This needs to hit. Okay. So let's uh, stabilize this wound. Let's uh, stabilize this wound. And shoot you with the nails again. Okay, so overconfidence is a very sudden killer in this game. And one of the fun things about my build right now is that I am definitely susceptible to like a room full of people. Although it is nice to say that I emptied like half a nail gun into them. Okay, unload the ammo. We'll get that ammo in a second. Okay, so that's that's literally the pants I'm wearing, so that's good. That is some better ammo. 
Okay, cool. We're, we are in business. There's another liberator. Okay, did we did we lose? Okay, there's nails. Inventory management is my goal. How am I doing? How many more people do I need to kill anyway? Four targets, and one of them is right there. And you have a knife. you are hiding. Okay. Need to repair my cool hat. So now you're hiding back here. Hello, friend. There we go. Alright. Drink. Drink! We need to get out of this guy's firing range, unless we want to fire back, but I'd rather not get nailed. But, um, unless I shoot him first. There we go. Okay, more. Oh, you got the actual saw gun. Cool. Okay, y'all only stack up to five. Right. And you died from... You died from dysentery. Knifeman's box will let us uh, repair what? Repair you. There we go. Ammo type gasoline. I'm a big fan of this kind of saw, but I'm not going to take it with me. Cannot be thrown. Why can't you throw a chainsaw? There's literally people who make a living throwing chainsaws. the nails to take with me. Alright. We disassemble the nail gun, we get more rubbish. So I don't have as much powder as I used to. We are almost, we are almost there. So we got some good gear, definitely. Oh boy, what are you? Um, can I get the jump on you? No, I can't. Can hit you, minus one health per action. What are you, a trainee with a chainsaw? See, this is where you don't want to engage people in a chainsaw fight. But apparently these giant open cabinets are uh, saving me. But yeah, the nice thing about being a clone is that you can just stabilize a shoulder fracture. With the splint and call today. Oh, you're, um... You're here. Hello, friend. All right. And just like that, we have another. Same, same fracture. This is why we bring splints. That's why I bring so many splints. And uh, I think somebody can see me now. It's probably the guy with the pistol. Did I just throw my damn weapon again? I need to... I didn't know... You, I didn't know you couldn't do that. All right. And you are on me like a white on rice or something. Oh, you got the hopital weapon thing. And just like that, our mission's done. So these guys, hey, wait a minute. I, you're, you're with the faction I'm supposed to be friends with. All right, so we got a bunch of shit here. Let's eat you. No bullets. Let's eat that. There's my, there's my happy little club, and we can request evacuation at any time, and that time is probably coming real soon. All right, better armor, not really. Jeans, not really. Gallon pistol, not really. Is this the best t-shirt I've ever seen? Not really. And tell me about you, friend. You have more moo. Um, all right. Well, 
don't think we need this many rags, but may as well take a chainsaw with us. Like I said, some of this is just trying to get better shit for later. That's a ledger. These are things that we can trade, but all I got to do now is get to the elevator. This level isn't quite done. There's another door up there, but... The, the, the need for exploration is um, definitely, it can be a problem. Especially when there's an explosive barrel in the middle of some kind of Satan room. This is the exact shape of the room that I died in last time. So, question is... Oh, do we have, we have you loaded up, right? Because if we put you here, and we can't not see. Now, I can run instead of walk. Oh, that's like a huge fan thing. All right. Okay, where are you? Oh, we got another dead body over here. Nice. Okay. And you're just a slave, I guess, for me. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong button here. So, these guys are just hanging out. <gasps> Woo! What are you doing? That is a that is a weapon. Okay, I missed. All right. And you are going after me again. So, let's um put you there, put you there. It's nail gun time. That was not what I meant to do. Fortunately, oh Apparently all that inventory management does take stuff. Nails! And you, sir, are coming with me. That does take little energy balls. And this is where I actually do have a bunch of bandages and shit. I'm kind of okay with, um... Seeing if I can do this. And, um... Did we... Do we live? Did everybody else die? No. Who are you and what do you have? You just have a regular old gun. Have some nails. So you're slow. No, you're dead. And you know what? I need some cow. Alright, so we are actually going to drop some of our medical items here. And we are going to loot this fancy gun. That I don't even have ammo for right now, but we're... One thing that you can do is actually trade and get some of that ammo. I'm sorry I'm sounding very southern about all this all of a sudden, but um, that's how it goes. That is a tourist backpack. I was kind of hoping for a bigger backpack. Those are some better shoes, though. Cool. Okay. See, this is why we do the extra room for extra loot. It's like we actually got a boss room here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Because we are taking damage for every time this is here. Alright. Okay, so we got a nice old helmet here. I think we're mostly done. No, we're not. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, first off... Robro. Okay, what are you? You're another acolyte. Oh, you got all the shit. We are going to use Dr. Jones. Alright. 
If that's the faction I'm supposed to be fighting for, you got your guess is as good as mine about why they are suddenly popping up out of corpses. But that is a sweet set of goodies. Although not as good as maybe some of the stuff I have. <sighs> All right. First thing I'm doing here is getting some of my medical supplies back. So bandages here. As well reload these into this. I don't have much in the way of splints left either. But this is where all those rags start to pay off. The ones that I actually threw away. Alright, let's see. That is a this is a loot room. Nothing in there. Food. Glorious food. That's a taiga. I'm a fan. I kind of want to have this instead. I already, I already had an opportunity to get one of those. Oh! Hello, friend. We have, um... Okay, so this is just a, um, okay, that's probably the wrong time to reload. Tell me about you. So you're just straight up melee. I can run here. Oh, wow, I got a, I got a sad dog that wants to go out all of a sudden. Okay. So let's turn it back to walk. Nail gun. Nail gun. Alright. Alright. Let me just take care of puppy real quick. We'll be back. If you've stuck around long enough in the video, then hopefully 30 seconds of me going to let my dog out is not going to dissuade you from not having that edited. Holy shit, that's new. It's probably because of uh, the quasi, the actual quasi morph. Oh boy. So this is the fun part where we could be in some serious shit in a second because we are here. And we're going to be getting some serious things. Maybe we back up just a little bit. Okay, dude disappeared. Let's see if we can nail gun him. Okay, now we got the aggression here. Okay, come a little closer. Oh, well, you, you turned into um, an idol. Now, the nice thing about idols, and I am going to call it after this, as you can see, things are getting way worse. If we grab this idol, it'll reduce Quasimorphosis by 600. What we're going to do instead is we're going to eat our fill, take the idol, swap out the food, and let's get the fuck out of here after we check what you have. Okay. Bonus splint. Bonus armor repair. Don't have too much buckshot shotgun shells. Wreck is not not my favorite. All right, so we could eat away all of our um, quasi-amorphosis issues, but hey, you got to see things get a little bit hotter than hell. And I still don't have a great backpack, but I do think it's probably time for us, instead of exploring the dark hallway here, especially because of kind of my timing, and my dog being like, oh, we got to use the bathroom here. That we are just going to go ahead and go end the mission. I'm pretty much I'm pretty much at my wits end. It's like, okay, we are 
We are at a high phase of quasimorphosis. We've had a successful run. We've gotten almost everything we want. Um, yeah, I'd call that a successful time. Evac. Okay, dog is still pooping outside. All right, this is a good thing about having a 13-year-old dog is that they, they get outside and sometimes they just need that time. Anyway, Texlin is satisfied with their work. Clothe the node is now resembles pandemonium. A gift from the owner is here again. And what did we get? Ooh, we got, we got another shoddy. Okay, so I have a splitter, Q pistol. We got a Q shotgun. Another one of these. I am a, I'm a fan. I will, I will take a uh, space Aztec stuff. We got, we lost a Dr. Jones. But we got some, we got some um, goodies along the way. I do have to watch out though because we are missing, like, we do have some nice equipment in case other people need it, but not so much this stuff. So I'm going to keep this gear on you. I'm going to put the heavy shit over here. Seems good. I guess. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the build. Except for the lack of nails. But now you can see we have places under maintenance. More missions available. Could probably use to trade for some good stuff here. Yeah. But that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher. Like I said, it's a... Um, yeah, we're getting more tutorials now. Um, long story short is that it has been... A rough, rough couple of months. I'm not gonna lie. It's been it's been tough. It's been exhausting. And um frankly, I just sometimes, you know, when you're at your limit, I hit mine. So hopefully new things, brighter things, better things in the future, but maybe some more quasi more if I got some other things that I'm interested in showing off as well. But that'll do it for this one. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We will do this again another time. Pardon the interruption for dog care, but hey, that's how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.